Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of Let's Play The Sims Medieval. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the lighting is a little weird um, as far as like the recording. I'm still messing with that. Um, but we are still in the tutorial. I could not save, so my game has been open literally all day long. Okay, it's the next day from uh, when I recorded the first part. Um, I did not close it because I couldn't save it. So when I was ending the part, it basically was showing us uh, the responsibilities. Um, so basically these little two little things, kind of like wishes almost. Um, it's kind of like what we need to do on um, a daily basis to keep, you know, the, the kingdom running, basically. Um, so right now it says to take time for yourself. Finally, a chance to relax, but a queen's duty is never done. I should take some time to explore and perform my responsibilities. Um, at any time during a quest, blah, 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 do whatever you want or complete a responsibility to move on. Okay, so it says, well, we have two things that we can do and it obviously ends at a certain amount of time. So we have 13 hours for this one and 14 hours for this one. So we'll just kind of go down the line. So it says, ask two citizens about life in Cresel. As a monarch, socializing with a pop populace is a good way to, for me to earn the condition of my kingdom or learn the condition of my kingdom. So we need to ask uh, two people how it is living here. Um, so let's just go ahead and get to know a couple people. Um, we can't just ask them. We need to be in a little bit better of a relationship. Um, so we'll go ahead and get to know them. Um, I just love this music, you guys. I just love it so much. Alright, and then let's see... I know you're hungry. We'll go. We will go uh, do that. Yes, Lady Noel. I will get some food right away. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Wait, did she seriously ask her to make food? Oh, my gosh. She's making food. I've never, I've never done that. I've never done that. Oh, my gosh. I love it. All right. So, we'll go ahead and be funny a little bit um tell a joke okay and then ask about living in Crystal. no okay she's really hungry so i'll go ahead and let her do that wait did we finish it oh we finished it perfect all right so she's gonna go ahead and eat this little soup it's an eel soup a fish's natural habitat is in the water so naturally eel soup makes perfect sense and we're eating with our hands i love it the just just the little details you know just the little details who's singing oh him oh um okay so we're gonna go ahead and get to know our servant um and chat with her there we go and we can go ahead and ask her about everything um chat go ahead and gossip all right so did you know that the people of craft hole want to eat cheese for every meal of the day seems a bit mad if you ask me that's funny all right so we're gonna ask her how it is perfect i'm gonna go the extra mile today and take on more responsibility so we got another responsibility um all right, we don't have to read that, so let's do this one. Pass an edit. Edict? A monarch is responsible for keeping the kingdom in line. The proposing and passing an edict on my on my tactical map would send a good message to the people. So we come down here, and over in this area is this map. Um, so we're going to go ahead and propose a edict. I'm not sure. We'll give it... Oh, we'll get an end... Or a whatever option um send excess dung from tredony to craft hole because that place smells bad already invest in trenin gems for kingdoms long-term savings let's do this one um edict is ready to be voted on otherwise voting will be called automatically in two hours um so can we call for a vote go ahead and do that 
Um, okay, vote for an edict. Um, obviously, we're going to vote for our own. So why not? Um, okay, so this one didn't win. So this one did. The standard wage of all builders will be increased on all jobs within the bounds of the castle. Of course they would. Of course. All right, so we are done with that one. Um, so now, sick, sick a pair on guild emissary. What? 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 How do I do that? I'll show those guildsmen exactly what Chriselle thinks of them. How symbolic of me to use the pirate mascot to humiliate the cons... How do you do that? Um, monarch. Send to stocks. Mean. Um, I don't know. We're going to ignore that one. I don't know how to do that. So um, I'll need to write a letter of hire to find the right royal advisor. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and write this letter. It says, setting this off at the messenger post will guarantee me an advisor in no time. So it says, send letter of hire. Okay. So I think that this is what we need. Um, yeah. Send letter to hire. Okay. And then we're going to probably go to bed. Oh, look at this. I just love it. I expect my new advisor should show up soon. When she arrives, I will ask her for her first piece of advice for the kingdom. Perfect. Ooh, wait, she's right there. Uh, perfect. Ask for advice. Go ahead and ask for advice. It is really late. We should really go to bed. My lady, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You'll need some mullions to purchase items, so I'm adding to your fun. Usually, you will make mullions each day from taxes or by selling resources that you collect. Perfect. Okay. So, um, basically, your advisor has suggested buying something to decorate the throne room. All right, so this is build and buy. It's a little bit different. Um, um, use the catalog button to screen to purchase. Okay, so I kind of want like maybe some decorative items, decor, maybe some like flowers or something. We'll do that. Yeah, that looks cute. Just a little something. All right, and now it says declare throne room open. Opening the throne room to foreign uh, degenerate dignity. Oh my god, it is a great step forward towards a strong kingdom. Click on Lady Noelle and select declare throne room open. All right, declare throne room open. Much better, my lady. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the throne room is open to diplomats from foreign lands. Yay! It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relations with our neighboring nations. I should take a peek at the tactical map before I continue to expand my own kingdom. All right, so it says, explore the future of my political relations is a wise move. V view political situations. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at that. We're going to need to go to bed soon. Super late. Perfect. Okay, so Christelle, this is your kingdom, the seed of a burgeoning empire destined for greatness or not. It's all up to you. You control the course of your kingdom's rise to greatness or fall from grace. You are the author of your kingdom, of your kingdom's story, be it an epic tale, tearful tragedy, or lively comedy. Anything is possible. Click here to write your own kingdom story. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so we have Chriselle, we have Craftholm, the Craftholm makers. Are the makers and doors of the world their determination is grounded in the belief that hard work equals success um 
and that assume no matter how poor can always pull himself up by his bootstraps. Cool. Um, so he trades a bunch of stuff. Uh, the benefits Craftholt provides recipes they've concord con concorded over the years. Um, cool. And then we have the Tredonese. Uh, for many generations, Tredony has been a central hub of commerce and trade for the religion. The first pupil pupils, I don't know, of their famed institute did the math and discovered that it was far more profitable to buy and sell goods than actually produce them. So there we go. We have all of those. The benefits, uh, Tredony's traders provide several food and drink recipes. Cool. Sweet. Love it. Okay. As Chriselle expands, so will number of territories. I can explore. Speaking of expanding, I wonder if Buildmaster Alka has finished taking inventory of the resources. So now it says to discuss future of the kingdom with Buildmaster Alka. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to have to go to bed here soon. We are so tired. Don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm sorry. <sighs> My mic doesn't cancel out that much stuff. There are enough resources here and the builders are all ready. Only one question remains, my lady. What will you build, Highness? I love it. Um, okay. First steps. A strong queen had risen, but trying times were ahead and Noelle's rule would be challenged more than she could possibly imagine. Congratulations on completing your first quest. You can see your overall quest performance on the left page. Your quest performance determines the level of your quest rewards on the right page. Your kingdom results includes resources, which you spend to place new buildings. The sim rewards shows that your monarch earned simoleons, money to purchase things, as well as experience points to earn professional levels and game skills and notorious tree i don't know so we got 10 rps and we got 400 simoleons and it looks like we leveled up to level two this is so exciting congratulations you have completed your first quest among your rewards you have gained resources as well as improved kingdom uh aspects click on the arrow in the kingdom status box to see the aspects um okay so level two benefits can start strategize the past edicts uh, okay okay we don't really care about that so we are very good at knowledge um aspects which you have begun by completing your first quest you can now purchase a new building using your resources uh select any green map marker to make your purchase after you choose after you place a building you will choose a new hero sim of new profession to occupy it make sure you rotate the camera to see all locations okay uh this concludes the tutorial blah 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 Sweet, we can save now. So I'm gonna go ahead and save because I haven't saved since I saved in the beginning of last part. So, oh my goodness. So we have the wizard's tower. We've got the clinic, which would be very nice. Um, we can only do the green ones. So we've got those ones and then we have the barracks. I'm pretty sure that's all we can do. Yeah, obviously the forest, this is too much. Um, and then we've got my kitty litter box is going off. Uh, we've got the monastery, uh, Jacobin Cathedral. Um, what is this? Oh, the graveyard. All right. So, and the tavern. There was, okay. So there was something else I read that, um, okay. Hmm, what do we build? The barracks would be knights. The barracks houses the military arm of the kingdom. And together with the training yard, which also comes with the barracks, provides a place for knights and other men at arms to train and hone their skills. Um, obviously we don't really need the wizards or we really need the clinic too, but I feel like we need an army first. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the barracks. Watch your pavilion. Yeah, we'll do this one. We're going to go ahead and do... Um, we'll do furnished. 
All right. No. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pick somebody. So we'll just go ahead and pick whoever. I don't want to go into creative some and pick anything or any of that. So we're raised up our security, which is very good. And then we'll do our well-being, which would be the clinic. So um, he loves his family. He's a jokester and uncalf. Okay. That'll be fine. Perfect. All right. So we've got that. Uh, we only have... Uh, we don't have any uh, more that we can do. So we're going to go over here, go to the quest, and we are just going to go ahead and choose something to do. Um, yeah, so, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's so much. Um... Let's see, so genies, genies are magical creatures trapped in everyday objects. It was widely believed, no. Prelude, prelude to the war, ooh. <gasps> Wreckage from a ship has washed ashore in Crusel and along with it, a survivor of deadly attack, which sunk the vessel. Ooh, family crest. A coat of arms told the story of one's lineage. Um, Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is um Let's do the royal holiday. Yeah, let's do that. Um a vacation, a break, a little time off. No matter what the name, a monarch is entitled to one every now and then. Um actually no, cuz we just started. That would be kind of kind of weird. Um uh, let's go ahead and do the power grab. Game domestic support. Um, select gain foreign support. Um, let's do that one. All right. All right. There we go. We started a new quest. This is exciting. But first and foremost, we are going to go upstairs and we are going to sleep. Lady Noel was excited to get out of the castle and meet the people. She really got a chance to do either. Building up people's confidence was not always easy, especially when times had been tough. But the queen was ready for the challenge. All right. So it says to hold court. So we'll do that when we wake up in the morning. Go ahead and get some nice needed rest. We'll wake up fairly early. Don't want to, you know, sleep all day as the queen. That'd be bad. I just love that people are just constantly coming in and out of this building. And these rooms. It's kind of funny. Alright, so I think I'll go ahead and wake her up about 7, 7.30. And there's already food, so let's go ahead and wake up. Um, oh, I guess we're gonna have to make food because there's no food made. So we'll do we'll do some rabbit uh, rabbit soup, something different. And then I just hit my desk. I apologize. And then we will go ahead and hold court, which would come down here. We just hold court. Oh, wait, don't, don't hold it now. I want you to eat this. My bad. And then you can go ahead and hold the cords. After you're done, of course. All right. Our, <coughs> excuse me. Here we go. Holding court for the first time. Of course, of course, every queen just yawns. <laughs> so funny. All right, so... Um, okay. Ah, that was a good warm-up. My leadership muscles feel stretched and taut. What's next? I just, like, hiccuped. All right. Um, all right. I need to establish my leadership on a national scale. I should propose some new legislations on my tactical map. Several good leadership books are available for sale at the market that could be worth. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So, it says... We gotta pass an edict. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and propose edict. Um, okay, petition for the monarch. My 
liege. Some of our younger, more impulsive citizens have taken up a new sport called dragon taunting. It is very dangerous. How can we dis- discourage them? Outlaw it. I will not stand for this kind of foolishness in my kingdom. We have enough problem- problems without our children going around poking dragons with sticks. It is banned. Regulate it. Hmm. If I appoint somebody to be a commissioner of dragon taunting and then charge admission, I bet the kingdom could make some extra gold. Heck yes. We're going to regulate it. You actually want to encourage this? Who would pay to see a daring young man test his skills against the world's most dangerous and fantastic creature? Lady is Noelle's popularity has slightly decreased. The people now disapprove of her. <gasps> no. Well, what are you going to do? Um, can't really do much. Oh, well. All right. Establish an official apprenticeship program for all professionals in Craftle. Establish a um, officially recognized bank of kingdom in Tredany. Um, let's do apprenticeship. Yeah. Um, okay. And then... Let's see. We're going to go ahead and call for a vote. I'm sure there will be a little bit more voting, at least in my opinion. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Are you seriously? They all failed? What? Propose an extra edit because we got a past one. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, meltdown excess trend, trend in um, whatever gold reserves to guild newly crafted arms and armor. Transfer revenue from blah taxes to programs that support unprivileged mud pushers in craft hole. Uh, let's do that one. All right, go ahead and vote. Um, okay. Um. Ooh, the throne will support the family of any builder. Additional guards will be sent to the village on market days to help prevent stealing and mugging. We'll do that one. Perfect! That one won! Yay! We did it! Okay, so it says, write two new laws. What is this? Gather thoughts. Well, we're going to have to wait for that. Let's do this. Um, we need the podium, please. Podium or whatever. The writing podium. All right. Go ahead and write another law. We got to do two. We have so much to do. All right. I'm going to go the extra mile today and take on. Okay. So, that gave me plenty of time to think. I should consider how I wish to proceed in my rule. Um, gather thoughts. How do I do that? Oh, right there. I love that. What the heck is she doing? What? Is she sharpening a knife? Seriously? What the heck? Awesome. Well, I think it's time to reach out to my people and find out what they really need from their queen. All right. What is the best way to connect to populace? I should firmly clasp each outstretched pleasant hand and bless it with a royal kiss. I'll give a speech. Why should I figure out? Yes, let's do the speech. Okay. I shall give the most inspiring speech ever, but I should run through the concept by some of my attendees first to test the impact. All right. So it says, get feedback. Talk to Sonia servant. Um, trickster. Let's go ahead and um solicitate. We have a trickster in the mist, you guys. Like what? All right. An ode to your greatness. Each blemish gives your face a wonderful glow. I don't care what they all say. I think you're a pro. With your mind is fantastic. Fantastic. You govern at all, and you have super clothes. They're the best of last fall oh my god she fired him what oh my gosh what the heck what okay so we have so much to do um let's go ahead and ask her for what she thinks 
Without a doubt, Majesty, you are the most noble, brave, perfect person I've ever had the pleasure of beholding. Aww. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and ask them. I don't know where they are. Way too far away. Why? Why? She's the wheeze. Hear ye, hear ye. The monarch is our savior and saint. Three cheers for the monarch. Hip, hip, hooray. Love it. Love it. Well, that went over pretty well. All right, so now we need to go home and write our speech, but we also need to hear three peti petitions as well. So our focus is actually really, really good. So that's amazing. Um, okay, so I think over here, yeah, write speech is over here on this thing. There's so many people. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and hear the petitions. All right, what's next? All right, practice speech in a mirror. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Let's go ahead and hold court really fast. And we're going to go ahead and hear three petitions. Um, hopefully, they come up themselves. Um, okay. Petition for the Monarch. The King Ball Watchers Cup tournament is scheduled for next week, but the league is completely broke. How can we hold the big game, Your Highness? Um, <clears throat> I will sponsor the tournament myself. The championship is important. If the people want their sports, they can afford it. Um, yeah, charge an admission. Oh, no! I'm sorry. A kingdom is nothing without money. I'm sorry. But if they want to hold something, they're going to need to do it. Um, my liege, I ask you found a voyage into the unknown. I shall sail, sail in your name and discover the secrets of the world around us. Knowledge, treasure, glory. These things can be yours. Um, let's do absolutely. Okay, we have finally increased our popularity. Um, how do we know, like, our popularity level? I wish that we could see that. Because I don't think that we can see it. Maybe it's the focus meter? I'm not, I'm not sure. All right, we need one more. All right. Um, I seek to start a candy shop in the outer village. Would the throne be willing to finance my endeavor? I believe it will be bringing much needed happiness to the kingdom. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and finance it. We got our taxes, so we've got some money. Um, thank you, Noah's possibility. She has now liked within the kingdom. Perfect. All right, so now we need to practice the speech in the mirror. So let's come over here and practice speech. We're going to go ahead and stop holding the court. Um, whoopsies. Practice speech. You know, I just love this game. It's just so, so, so fun. We're almost to the next level, which is, I think, I think gold? I don't know. I don't know. Perfect. Lady no Noel, you're one sharp cookie. Go get him. Okay. Um, no one gets the word out like the town crier. Alright. Um. Alright, so we're gonna go spread the word with these two. If I do a good job, will you cancel my dinner date with the pit beast? I love it. Let's actually do this one, this person first, and then this person, because they're way out there. All right. Of course, Your Majesty, I shall inform all visitors of your amending speech. We have... <clears throat> Ugh. Sorry. I shall cry out your message to all within earshot, your highness. Where is my extra loud bow? I am posed and ready. The mission to win the hearts of the town is about to end in victory. All right. Give speech in town square. Okay. Um, tw bleh, town square. We're going to go ahead and go to location. All right, the people in town were easily swayed to fall under the thumb of the monarchy. They simply couldn't resist the charm and social integrity on display. 
The speech was resounding success. The townsfolk listened to sublime awe. They were eating right out of the monarch's hands now and would follow the castle's laws without question. Yay! We did it. Yay! As a queen of Cresel, Lady Noelle never had to worry about re-election, but she did have to worry about bloody up- uprisings. Um, by getting out into the kingdom the tackling people's problems directly the queen had ensured another few confident years on the throne so we so we got 12 or 20 rp points um we also got 750 simoleons um so yay so it says congratulations noel has reached um monarch level three review your symptomology tab for new profession benefits a monarch is a sole ruler of the land a great responsibility falls on the sim as his or her leadership decisions affect everyone in the kingdom sweet yay okay so we have obviously some more you know rp points which is very nice but we also have all of these quests so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to end this part here i'm going to save really fast and obviously i'm having the time of my life man i am literally having so much fun with this um i'm going to continue playing this and recording some parts and posting them f like throughout the week um it's such an easy game to play because it's just like I don't know. I just love this type of Sims games. It's the same reason why I loved Castaway Stories. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.